Hi listeners, uh, thank you for tuning in again. It's always my pleasure to welcome you. Uh, this clip will focus on ripples, dunes and cross beds. A, a cross bed is a layered strata uh, lying at a given angle to a bed or a bedding plane. Uh, on the other hand, ripples and dunes are actually bed forms which take the shape of mound or ridge of loose unconsolidated sands uh, created during the movement uh, or flow of a given uh, media such as wind or water. Um, for the most case, dunes are larger bed forms than ripples. Um, now, how are beds, cross beds formed? Now, cross beds are formed uh, when these ripples or dunes are deposited on inclined surfaces, and that can happen in the deserts uh, or in shallow marine or deltaic environments. We can find them in fluvial settings, tidal areas, or in marine environments. So, the next time you want to go fishing or you want to go canoeing um, or you for those who do you want to go beach partying or surfing you want to spend some time and observe uh, these flow processes um, that actually create these bed forms this uh, little current ripples or you know small dunes because these are very important precursors to cross beds so cross beds can tell us about the paleocurrent directions, um, the energy level of the depositional media, uh, and even the variability of the flow. Um, so we can get all this information from the deep directions, the sorting or the thickness of the beds, uh, and even the repeatedness of the beds. Um, I have a simple model that kind of demonstrates this. Firstly, imagine that you have a unidirectional flow uh, of air or water, from, in this case, from left to right. So what happens is that we have you know erosion from the left that's the you know gentle slope and then deposition on the other side that's on the right or the steep slope so and then this continues so each time there's erosion uh, you know in this uh, you know bed form from the left and deposition on the right it generates a cross bed now if you subject this to let's say an episode of erosion uh, imagine chopping off the upper half of this and then uh, you have, let's say you have another cycle of current flowing in the same direction from left to right. That would be the blue um, arrow. And then that, that deposits another set of cross beds. Uh, you can actually see the difference in the, you know, the deep angles. If you, let's say, further subject this to, you know, another cycle of activity. Uh, in this case, imagine a current approaching from the opposite direction. That's a red arrow. You see it deposits another set of cross beds which uh, you know dip in the opposite directions to the pre-existing ones. So there's a lot that we can actually tell uh, by looking at cross beds, the deep angles, the deep directions, the bed thicknesses and you know and others. Um, yeah, so thanks for listening. Um, we'll be chatting more on cross beds in the next um, episode of this same uh, series. Uh, until then, um, I appreciate your time. Uh, it will be fine.